on on my last two days, Guda and Ina started driving, and I didn't really think I could meet Ina because uh, I wasn't sure if that was gonna work out. So on my last day, since my flight was at 10 p.m., I was like, okay, okay, gonna make the most out of it. And I asked if Guda wants to like hang a little bit. So around noon time, I, I went to her place and I was like, hi, good morning. Yeah, I asked her if, like, if there's anything she wants to do or if anything, if there's anything she was like planning already. And if we should like buy some stuff like uh, kitchen stuff or so. So, I first brought her to a Daiso. Yeah, that was fascinating for her. Originally, we wanted to go to to a restaurant for lunch, but then I said, you know what, we're gonna go karaoke anyway, right? She was like, oh, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> it was her first time at a Japanese karaoke. So, that was nice, but we had some troubles finding the right songs that we wanted. With the stupid system, the stupid machine. <laughs> Gunas! Japanese reading skills are, are not perfect, so she had to check. Uh, like, I would always give her my phone with some romaji lyrics of whatever she was singing, and she would read it off the phone <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> mm, but we were enjoying our time there. We were singing so many songs, like, we didn't have a time limit, so we just went on and on and on. And then at the end, where it was like, Okay, maybe we should go now because we have a chance to meet Ina. And we can have dinner together with Ina and Jenma. After that, we I have to go to the airport. So, so the last song I chose was like, Ah, oh, wait, Kura, there's one more song. We should sing together. And I didn't tell her. And I put in secretly, Ai Kotoba. The one that we covered before. <laughs> and she's like, Ah! Last but not least, we sang Ai Kotoba together. But we sang many songs together. But I uploaded a snippet of us singing Ai Kotoba on Twitter if you wanna listen in. Mm.